What's crack a lag in YouTube? How are you guys doing today? We're gonna play a game called What Remains of Edith Finch. Now, something that I saw on Steam and it's been talked about, it's been very well received. Basically, it's a story game. I mean, th th just to give you an example, this is what I was thrust into. This is the intro to the game. I got no <laughs> video or anything to go by. It's just, I'm on a boat, but it appears to be very beautiful, by the way. It's a very beautiful scenery that I'm looking at. We are moving, or are we? No, we're docked. We're definitely docked, but this is kind of interesting, kind of mysterious. And, uh, this guy, let's play. Let's see what happens. This was all about. Oh, that reminds me of what I had last night. Now, um, if this is anything what I had last night, I'm going to have to use the bathroom a lot in this gameplay, so I'll make sure to cut those scenes out. Expect loud noises. Oh, what is this? So we're looking down. I am a girl with a cast. Edith Finch. Pugent, Pugent sounds. Nice little beautiful flowers. Let's open up. Let's see what this is all, all about. It seems to be... A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. Okay. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. Okay. Oh, this... Kind of reminds me of Life is Strange, if you guys have ever seen that game. So this is the house? That's a very interesting looking house. It looks like 20 houses stacked on top of one another. Anything behind me? I lived here until I was 11. But I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Hmm. You weren't allowed inside half. I wonder why that is, Missy. Can I take this for the road? Mmm, smells so fresh. Orcas Islands Gazette. Let's see, let's check the mail. I kind of, whoa, I love this little hand thing she's got going on. This is like a full body knitted Persian the armor. Mails from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Some kind of eviction going on, huh? I really like this house, though. Like, a big walkway, and then over out in the distance is some beautiful tall house. Like, Rapunzel would have. My brother Lewis's funeral. You haven't been back. Well, let's get over there, girl. In Can you way, jump? My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Well, my mother left me key, but didn't tell me what it Maybe unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The mystery would be enough to bring me back. I think it's. I think she's right. I think this mystery is going to bring us back. We're going to go off the beaten path. I saw a road up there, but we're going to go down. Take a little detour. Explore down here. See how far the game will let me go. Take a swim with the fishes. Take a swim with the frogs. This is as far as I go, huh? Don't stop me, Kane. Let, let me go as far as I want to go. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Really? But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Hmm. Okay, you Finch. But we're gonna find out what's going on here. We're gonna find out what- The woods the house have always been uncomfortably silent. Is As if they're about to say something, but never do. Hmm. Well, let's give them a chance. Hello? What? You guys alive? Is this Avatar? No, it is pretty silent. You're right. I'm a little scared right now. The music's getting kind of eerie. Something's missing. Milton Finch. If you have information about Milton, please let us know. So a young boy went missing. What happened here? This is the house? Wow. The house is exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. This is an insane house. This is some kind of fairy tale house. Looks like looks like they started up and said, okay, we're gonna build a house. You know, we have a bigger family, we need another room. Let's build a house on top of our house and then build some more houses on top of it. But I'm I mean, she said she hasn't explored half these rooms, so we're gonna find some stuff that she's never seen. That we've never seen. Dunk, baby dunk. Alright, let's keep going. Carry on. Oh, you press shift to zoom in. That's interesting. Is there a second, like third person view? Nope, there's not. All right, to the house we go. Up this beautiful front walkway. Laid in with flowers. Do you guys know the name of these flowers, these purple flowers? I, w I wish I knew. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Hmm. You're really foreshadowing. You're laying it on thick, Edith. You're really letting me know that maybe I'm going to find some dead bodies. As a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. 
You were afraid of me. Why? What is there to be afraid of? I mean, it is out in the middle of nowhere. It is very secluded, and the nature's talking to us. Gary's potty mix. Oh, Gary's potty mix has the best potty mix. I'll tell you that much. All right, let's go in, guys. We have the key. <sighs> what I remains? Hope the key might have the front door. It didn't. So we gotta find a way in, huh? Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. What? Okay, so let's find another way in. Into this house that's been waiting for you. To the back we go. Maybe the garage. Maybe the garage is open. It's worth a shot. Nope, not open. Oh, this is it. This is it. Before we before we go and adventure into this world, it's probably be like a labyrinth and suck me in. I say goodbye and smell the beautiful roses. All right, like a dog we go. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. Yeah, I bet. I bet it was. So we're in the garage right now. Lots of bikes. Lots of cleaning supplies. You know, typical old home. But one caveat that this hasn't been lived in. So it's a little creepy when you go... I don't know if you guys have ever been to a abandoned house. I remember actually... For the first time in years. For the first time in years. I remember that I actually went to a abandoned house when I was like in high school. And it was so creepy seeing everything the way it was. Just left there. Walk into somebody's like life. Home. You felt like you were home. This, I love the way this house feels. I mean, I know there's a lot of books around, but it feels homey, right? It's very cozy. You can tell it's been lived in. There's a family here. The clutter is almost comforting. I don't know. I mean, does that make me a hoarder? Does that make me weird? But I think the clutter is comforting. I mean, this is a little too clutter, but Edith. Like instead of a family, there were just memories of one. M. Eddie. Don. Lewis. Where's Milton? Lewis Finch, beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Eddie. He died young. He was 22 years old. Poor little Lewis Finch. And it said Milton Finch was missing, so maybe his name was Milton Lewis? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Witch's Kitchen, a Viking's belly, the holiday feast. A lot of cooking going on here. All right, let's explore the dining room. Where Chinese food has been devoured. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Huh. Interesting. Why did you guys leave? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. So the original house sank. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting to the paranormal. We're getting some underwater ghosts. Maybe this little haunting. These books are going to show flying in the air. It's going to be a lot less comforting. This clutter's going to be a lot more scary. Let's go take a stroll outside just to see the view. Let's go out on the porch. Or is the door blocked? Is it blocked or is that just a window? Maybe there's an entrance, but uh, not around here. Carry on, carry on. Carry on my way with son. Do you guys ever have these growing up? I, I actually had some uh, petrified books. It's pretty interesting. Pretty nice. I like it. Barbara. These music boxes are almost uh, always a bad idea. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. This music is so creepy. It just makes everything so much worse. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Ah, so the key is not for the basement. The key is not for the basement. I have a feeling the key is for that room all the way up top. That just closed by itself. I mean, I guess it was done. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a little bit freaked out. These, bo okay, these books are excessive, guys. Come on. Maybe the key is for this. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. No way. Come on, that is creepy. Why would you do that? I'm not ready for this, uh, the, f <laughs> the finches of Christmas past. The finches grinches. I'm not ready to visit these old demons. 
Let's unlock the door so that we don't have to go through the doggy door again. Nope, guess not. Stained glass is nice though. All right, let's go upstairs, guys. Let's go upstairs. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Really? This is kind of weird. This is kind of weird. You're leading me to here, this people. So all the bedrooms are sealed up and now we have peepholes. So what did you guys do after the Milton disappeared? You guys left the house and the rooms are all covered up or did you guys live like this? My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Seven years with his dead brother, Calvin. Like, he was in a room with his brother in a coffin? What? His family's weird, guys. Calvin was pretty young as well. Greg, he was one years old? Or just the time in which they lived in these places? As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Edith, that, that is not normal. That is not normal. So, Eddie is... Edie was the grandma. I think Sven is the grandpa. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Interesting. My grandma, or my great-grandmother, was also an artist. So, I, I feel a little bit of uh, hashtag relatable going on. Lots of wine, lots of books, 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 books. Barbara, also Barbara very young. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Do you see that in the back? Is that King Kong holding Barbara? Huh. I wish we could see inside these rooms, like, more in depth, but that's what we have. Oh, what is this? Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Oh, Barbara. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first oh, the thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Like, what happened to her? Like, as like she was famous, or why did she die at 16 years old? Why is everybody dying so young in this family? Okay, this there's the cord leading to something. Is that me making those noises, or did that just happen randomly? Uh, we're going to carry on. This is not... I'm not too excited about this, but we're going to carry on. Four stairs on the night we left. Okay. Okay, Mom. Mom, you're protecting a lot of stuff. And we're gonna find out what's going on here. You did give me a key. So it seems like the key doesn't apply here. Let's just look into these rooms. Molly. Ten years old. I'm assuming these are the dates and how long they lived, right? What's going on with this family? Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. Yeah, so these are the days in which they died. And these, these children died very young. Well, if you think about it, back in these times, you know, medicine, I mean, it was more far advanced, but people did die sooner. And this bedroom's open. This is not sealed. I'm assuming this is Edith's room. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Oh, Great Uncle Walter? I think Walter. my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Well, this is a very nice room, out. to be honest. I mean, I know that the original house was got sank, and there's sharks and underwater. So this is a little eerie. I think there's some foreshadowing going on here. It's kind of weird, you see? I mean, that's the house, the original house, I'm assuming. And all the family members that have swam up and haunted me. Secret passages, but I never believed him. Okay, let's use the key. Let's find the secret passages. They worked! Okay, so the key is for this book. 20,000 leagues under the sea, which apparently is what happened to the house. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Whoa. Whoa. It wasn't a book after all. My mom had been afraid of. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to figure this out, but in we go. Okay, so tea time. Some drawings. A little cribbo, From a little the stroller. On the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Ah, okay. But it must have been missing. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Yeah. So this is in the past, by the way, guys. So she's fine now because this is in the past. We're just revisiting. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Yeah. Where is this going to lead? 
I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Oh, so we're inside Molly's room. Inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Huh. Interesting. It's like a garage. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before Paints. my mom sealed the doors. Painting pictures of Molly. Little shrine to Molly. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Okay, you ended up eating the gerbil? Please don't tell me you ate the gerbil, Molly. The gerbil the food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh my god. What the hell? So the mom sent her to bed without eating, and now she's eating gerbil food? There's my this. Halloween candy was all gone. Oh my god, what's going on here? Oh, I'm scared. Mom, can I come out now? She locked Molly Keep in. Keep safe. Go to sleep. Sweetheart, it's late to sleep. This mom sounds evil. The fish we can eat. I mean, that's good protein. I thought about. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. So what'd you end up eating, little Molly girl? Nothing. Is that why you died at ten years old? I mean, the gerbil food's not gonna last. I kept eating and eating. No, not too paced. No, 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 no. No, Molly. No. I ate a lot of things that night. Okay. Well, is that a fake plant or is that real? It can't be real. Birds. Eat some birds. I mean, I don't mind that. Some raw birds. That's what we did it back in the old days. Molly, you're very short. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Okay. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. The window is locked. This is cruel. And suddenly... Whoa. I was a cat. No. What? This can't be real. Molly, this can't be real. Oh, but this is so cool. I'm actually quiet, the bird always want to be really a cat. Scared. Okay, uh, can we make this jump? Oh, right here. Boom, ladder. Do. Do. Oh, I've always wanted to be a cat. This is amazing. Let's go. Oh. oh, I'm chasing you down, birdie birdie. Wait, wait. Oh, I think I, I think I'm stuck. Molly, I don't think you were a cat. I think you were so hungry and delusional. You ended up doing this. Oh, this is what we gotta do. Where you at, Birdie? Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Just take a second to just realize what's going on. This is absolutely beautiful. I jumped and I almost got her. Wait, wait, wait. Come back, come back, come back, little swallow birdie. I could tell she was getting really tired. So then what happened? Wait, where'd she go? There? Oh, she's over there. How did I miss that? Now I was up in the big tree. I no. promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I, I cared about was eating that mama bird. So wait, Molly. Molly, you're climbing the tree, but you're not actually a cat, and then... This doesn't seem like it's gonna end well, Molly. I gobbled her up. Oh. Suddenly, I was an owl. No, what? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass.
Oh, this is amazing. We really are an owl. Okay. I'm just let the game take me wherever it wants to take me. Rabbits. Rabbits. Oh, yes. Let's go. Swoop down. Swoopy, swoopy, swoop, swoop, swoop. There we go. Oh, chase that rabbit down. I believe you can do it. Let's do it. Oh, poor rabbit. It's just the nature of life. Circle of life. Imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Oh my god, Molly, you're savage. No. Bigger than a rabbit? What, an anaconda? A python? Hey, bring it on. A mama rabbit. Where? Oh, there she is. There she blows. Oh. She was almost too good to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? What? Oh, wow. Wait, we... Oh, okay. We're actually a shark. Okay, that's that's happening. I'm, this guy's just flopping around. I feel kind of bad. I rolled off Whoa. the cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm alpha predator now, guys. All right, I've always, I've always wanted to be a shark, to be honest. I'm gonna live this up. Come here, turtle. That's a fish. It's a seal. Why can't I go down? Oh, like this. Oh, it's hard, it's, it's hard to be a shark. It's not that easy. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Molly, you are a crazy girl. What do you got, seals? I need some more of this. Ooh, poor seal. Let's see this. It's pretty much done for. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm clearly not an experienced shark. Where, where are you at? Where'd you go, seal, seal? I lost track of you. I'm the worst shark. There she is. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Okay. What'd you see? Wait, am I the seal now? What? Am I'm a snake? Oh, this is absolutely now I was a monster. And I smelled people everywhere. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. I'm, I'm a monster, but it looks like I'm a giant anaconda, which it really means. I'm in the house. Wait a minute. Oh, this is a boat. Holy. We're eating people now. That's happening. That's happening. Captain? I'm the captain now. Also, I did it. I'm the captain now. You know what? I actually don't like your singing, buddy. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Well, we should eat his booty. Wait, is that a drunken sailor right there? On, on the stool? Yep, this it is. It's gonna taste like alcohol, baby. Oh. Captain, you're next. This is a hostile takeover. Wait a second. I need a, I got traps. This is actually a, quite an innovative way to be a snake. I kind of want to get caught secretly, but nope, we're just going to eat the captain. That's what's going to happen. 
passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelt a canoe. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. How hungry can you be, Molly? I would have stopped with the drunken sailor. No, I would have stopped with the rabbits. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. And the good smell went into an old pipe. Okay, so... This is leading me down. So, this started off with Molly not getting any food, eating dribble food. And this, to be honest, it's probably some crazy drug-induced trip that the mom I'm floating now. It appears I am floating. It appears I'm in the house, I got actually. Closer and closer. Uh, this is my bedroom. Oh my. I think she actually hallucinated because of all the toothpaste she ate. Or the berries or something. But this is not normal, Molly. All my stomachs. All my stomachs started growling. Started growling. Okay. And suddenly, that was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. What? So she got eaten, or is there some crazy trip? And she's dying. Or maybe this is just... I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys. We're gonna leave it here. Right after Molly. That was quite a trip of imagination. Very, very interesting. I'm very intrigued. Guys, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Um... What do you guys think has happened to Molly or what's happening in this house in general? I mean, I feel like that Molly thing was kind of a hallucination. She ate a lot of bad things. She was in her bed the whole time, but she had this whole crazy fantasy about going out and getting food and being a cat and all this stuff. But in reality, she was probably dying from something she ingested. But oh my god, this is, this is a beautiful game. It's very interesting. Guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Stay positive. Peace.